Chapter 19, A Higher Perspective. Mama, I'm scared, yelled Robert as the kitty roller coaster started. Gee, the ride's only waist high, pretty slow, and not very long, thought Pearl. Why is he such a scaredy cat? But he's been through a lot. Help him, Jesus. The car started picking up speed, and as they came around the curve, his mother shouted, Robert, you rode the ponies just fine. You can do this. Lucas was holding his hand as he went around, so I guess this is scarier, Bert said. He and Zai gave Robert the thumbs up sign, and Pearl waved and smiled at their little brother. This is your first ride, said his mother loudly, and you can have lots of fun if you decide to not be afraid. So choose to enjoy yourself. Be brave, my son, and you'll love it. He came around again. He's not smiling, but he doesn't seem as scared, thought Pearl. You have an angel watching over you, Rob, she said as he passed her. He just looked at her and held on. If I have to, I'll take him around while you girls do your thing, said Bert. Pearls, Pearl, here's the tickets for you five ladies. Pearl took the tickets and looked up at the lovely clouds. Thank you, Lord, for the perfect weather, too. Sunny, but cool. You're so good. She looked back at the coaster. This time, Rob waved when he came around, but one hand was still holding the bar. Bert laughed. <laughs> progress is progress. Hey, Pearl, let's do the House of Mirrors after this, said Robin. Yeah. The ride finished, and as Bert helped Robert off, he said, That was great. Let's do more. All right, Bob, you gentlemen come with me. We're having a good guy time today. We'll see the ladies for lunch. Thank you, Jesus. It's just us girls, Pearl thought. And you, of course, you're a guy, but you're always the perfect friend. All right, let's meet at the salad shack, I guess, said Queen Mother, since they probably do not have an organic eatery around here. Organ what? said Zai. Oh, really healthy food without poison, said Risa. We're looking for a place that serves healthy food, if there is one. Tell them, Risa, said Bert. Okay, let's do one o'clock, right? You ladies be safe and text me if you need something before then. Pearl and the others walked to the House of Mirrors. Now, Charlotte, please don't tell me these mirrors make you look fat, teased Risa. They're out of focus on purpose. Yeah, we'll all look strange in here, said Robin. As they went through the various distortions of glass, I said, interesting. And sometimes my mirror seems like this. Well, I guess it's not my mirror anymore. Jesus, help her to be happy today, Pearl prayed in her heart. Hey, Zai, you know the word of God is the real mirror, Pearl said, her voice echoing through the twisting, turning halls of the set. All right, said Robin, following right up behind them. You mean the Bible? Zai said, coming up behind her. She stood with Pearl and looked at their reflections as she held one arm close to the mirror. Gee, this thing can't even make my tattoos look good. Yes, said Pearl, it shows us how we really look to God and others. I mean, the Bible shows us. Right, Queen Mother? Where is that, anyway? Correct, said her mother. The voice came from another mirrored hall. James 1, 22 through 24 talks about hearing and reading the word and doing it. Then we look more like Christ, said her mother. Wow, whispered Zai. Is your mom like a pastor or something? Well, kind of, Pearl said. Daddy was the pastor of the biker's church he started, so she was the pastor's wife. It's sort of like being a pastor. So your dad was a biker? I didn't think Jesus' people rode motorcycles, said Zai as I walked to the next glass. He learned so he could reach more people, said Pearl. He was afraid to at first, but God gave him courage to do it. He met a lot of bikers, and they received Jesus in their hearts, and they needed a church, so they wanted him to be the leader. So he did that for a while, and that was in Tennessee, where we used to live. Then he trained Pastor Randy to help him. She felt tears come to her eyes. I am not going to cry, Pearl told herself. She looked at Robin, who made the peace sign to her. Huh, as I said, as she stopped to lick herself in the new set. I know some bikers, but they're sure not preachers. She shook her head. They're about as far away from God as there is. Help me not to cry, Jesus, Pearl thought. Well, that's why Jesus needs people like Daddy, to show them that real Christians can ride bikes as well and do anything. We're all the same except for Jesus, and that God loves them anyway. 
and wants them to help a better life. Daddy was going to ride across the country with a few of his buddies and preach to many other bikers, but now he's riding his motorcycle in heaven, I guess. I guess. Or maybe he traded for a white stallion. What's with you and the white horses, as I said and laughed? Are you sure they're not blue in heaven? Maybe, said Pearl. <laughs> that would be neat. Then I'd want a white one and a blue one, or maybe I could have one that's blue and white, blue with a white mane and tail. That would be so cool. And with God, anything is possible. Man, you have some imagination, said Zai. Elohim helps me, Pearl said. Who? God. Elohim is the name for God the Creator, said Pearl. Queen Mother says that everything we see is created, including us. Right, Risa said as they all exited the mirrors. Pearl's mother led them to the map on the pole. Let's go to the tower now, she said. They've never been up that high, said Zai. Yet, said Risa. God's taking you much higher than before, sweetie. Yeah, said Robin and giggled. Want a bungee jump off the mountain? No, thanks, said Zai. I want to stay alive, and I don't want anything broken either. Wise girl, said Queen Mother. We wouldn't let you do that anyway, but we can all enjoy hiking up the mountain and riding up the elevator to the tower top. They walked about eight minutes and got to the bottom of the tower, then presented their tickets and entered the glass elevator. It rose slowly while they enjoyed the view. The doors opened to the gift shop. Marketing, marketing, said Risa. Maybe we can get some souvenirs before we leave. They walked through and onto the platform that surrounded the tower. Wow, this is the highest I've ever been, said Pearl. What a treehouse! Risa and Robin nodded and walked to the telescope. Cool, whispered Robert. I can see even farther. Yeah, as I said, this must be our eagle see, huh? Yes, right, said Risa. We are seated in heavenly places, even higher than this, said Pearl's mother quietly. She gazed over the lovely landscape. Then she put her finger to her lips for all to be quiet. I'm so glad Robert is with Uncle Bert, thought Pearl. This way we can enjoy ourselves, and I'm sure we're having more fun than them, too. She felt a rush of joy and thankfulness. Daddy got Uncle Bert so sweet. Give him a great time, please, anyway, even with Robert. As they ascended, Pearl could see more mountains and lakes in the distance. No one was talking, and she felt a great sense of peace. There was a slight wind. It sounds like flowing water, Pearl thought. Lovely. Several minutes passed, and no one spoke. As others came up the elevator, it was as if a reverent awe touched them, and no one wanted to disturb it. Thank you, Lord, thought Pearl. Thank you, Prince of Peace. It all looks like toys, Mother, said Pearl very quietly. This must be how things look to God, she thought. How far up are we? Zai just stared at the landscape. Her mother nodded. Good question, she said softly. Higher than we were, at least. She smiled. The first time I came up here was years ago with your dad, and the Lord gave me a new perspective. He opened my physical and my spiritual eyes. He revealed to me that everything on earth is truly tiny compared to him, and I've worked to keep that understanding. But God sees every little thing in our lives, right, Queen Mother? said Pearl. Oh, yes, precious, she said softly. He sees the end from the beginning, every moment of our lives at once. As big as he is, and as small as our stuff is to him, we kids are his delight. Just like I care about every detail of your life, precious, he cares even more, for he made you. He is the creator of your life, and your daddy God who loves you. He puts you together cell by cell in my body, and he continues to create you as you grow. Risa nodded and walked further around to the left. Zion and Robin were quiet, but Pearl could tell they were listening. She looked around. I think the other people are listening too, Daddy God. Help them to hear what they need to. I know as Queen Mother says that you direct our paths are always in the right place at the right time. Pearl's mother stopped talking and had a strange look on her face. Mother, are you remembering when I was in your tummy? asked Pearl. Yes, Pearl. Actually, I was thinking of Jeremiah 1.5 that says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew and approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I separated and set you apart, consecrating you, and I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. She hugged Pearl and said, No child is an accident, Pearl. However a baby gets into the earth, it is a life, a precious creation of God, which is a little human, from the moment it is conceived in the womb. Pearl nodded. 
You mean when the mommy's part and the daddy's part blend, Queen Mother? Pearl noticed I looking at them. She's really listening. Thank you, Lord. You're always working. Exactly, precious, said her mother. Unless that life is interrupted, the baby will continue to grow and become an adult. She smiled. By the way, you are becoming an excellent young lady. Yes, she is, said Risa, while Robin nodded. As I nodded, too, and gave Pearl the thumbs up sign. Pearl smiled back. I love you, too, mother, she thought. Her mother continued. I was also remembering that when I was eight months pregnant with you, I was taking speech in college. I got to pick my subject, and when I told the professor I was going to speak about against, rather, third trimester abortion, he said, You're going to talk about that? And I said, Watch me. Excelente, said Risa, walking back to them. The righteous are bold as a lion. Proverbs 28.1 Wow, a little scary, but a lot exciting for her, Pearl thought. 